Let's say hello to Steve. Steve is a university lecturer, and he loves nothing more than providing engaging and interactive classes. But that wasn't always the case. You see, he sometimes found it hard to connect with his students and to gauge their understanding. But that's all changed. Now Steve uses VVox. Steve can now let his students actively collaborate in his lectures with live polls and quizzes. He's even removed the fear of asking questions. And getting instant, honest feedback is a breeze. Not only is VVox really easy and quick to implement, it also works seamlessly with Steve's preferred tools. So Steve can focus on keeping his students engaged. Now, let's meet Emma. Emma's new to Steve's classes, but her past experiences of online learning and large lectures aren't great. She struggled to engage and found it difficult to ask for help. Hang on though, Emma's been asked to use VVox. It looks like Emma's going to be able to respond to polls, ask questions anonymously, and upvote those sent by others. Emma seems surprised, but also intrigued. Steve kicks off with a poll. It's a great way to gauge understanding and know which areas need to be focused on. He makes the most of his Q&A time by answering the most popular questions. And to test their knowledge and end things on a high, Steve is going to finish with a quiz. Emma's impressed. She's never felt so included in a class. Steve decided to try VVox because of the hundreds of five-star reviews online and the fact that he can speak to a real person at VVox and get help and advice on using it. Nice work, Steve. Another great lecture and happy students. If you want to be like Steve and provide unmissable lectures too, sign up now for your free trial at vvox.com. My name is Peter Hurst. I'm the sales lead for higher education for Europe, the Middle East and Africa for OpenLMS. OpenLMS is the world's largest Moodle hosting and services organization and we provide support for about 1700 clients around the world. Some big universities, some FE colleges, some um, government organizations and also some private companies as well. Um, we've got a really varied set of clients and they've come to us with all sorts of stories about how they coped during the pandemic and, and since the pandemic. And that's why we're really excited to sponsor the theme at Alt-C for Digital Transformation Beyond the Crisis, which is also going to be um, the, the title of my talk. I'm going to give on Tuesday at half past two. Uh, it would be brilliant if you could make it along. Um, I'm going to talk about how we form habits and how that has influenced the practice that's continued since the since the pandemic's all but finished in the UK in particular. Um, we're going to share some stories from around the world, from some of our clients, and also from the, the, the wider um, community of educators that we come into contact to uh, with through our um, community um, via our eLearn magazine and the other initiatives that we have to, to gather best practice and to disseminate it amongst our clients and beyond. We'll be really excited to speak to you either on our stand or if you can make it along to the talk and it'll be brilliant to continue the conversation about digital transformation. As an educator, you're facing a lot of challenges and changes. It can be hard to know which software is best for you. With Canvas, you know you'll be in good hands as you study or teach with the world's number one learning solution. Whether you study or teach in person, online, or a mix of the two, Canvas can help you streamline your education experience so that you can help your students reach all their academic goals. Our technology 
is made to be easy to use for people of all ages. More than 30 million active users choose Canvas across thousands of institutions, from kindergartens to all the Ivy League universities in the US. Let's meet some people who are on a learning journey with Canvas. This is Lee, a teacher. He's using Canvas virtual classrooms to make his classes' lectures more engaging. Students Alice and Sunil are tackling their homework and tracking their progress with all the latest apps, including Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Suite, Studio, Catalog, and Impact. Sunita is behind the scenes in administration. She's checking detailed student data and tracking performance in a meaningful way. And Daniel is up to date with his son's progress whenever he wants to check in. There are no walls to effective education in a virtual classroom. Canvas simplifies it all. Canvas makes it easier for Sunita to set up the semester. From organizing enrollments to notifying faculty staff on a platform set up for desktop and mobile. The fully streamlined platform enables Lee to personalize coursework depending on how many of his 20 students this term he's teaching face to face and how many students are logging on from home like Alice and Sunil. Let's see how Canvas connects the dots for these people over the course of an academic term. Canvas brings hybrid education to life so that both face-to-face -face and online learners can enjoy their experience. With Canvas's Mastery Paths tool, Lee can look at real-time performance data to create targeted learning activities for each student. Here, he assigns top performers to the advanced path in their own discussion group. And those who need a little more help, he assigns extra materials to support their studies, so that no student, including Alice, feels left behind. As the semester progresses, Lee can stay on top of Alice's progress at any time by tracking it through Canvas Gradebook and giving feedback to keep her motivated on her online learning journey. Around holiday time, when students are on the move, Lee records a mini lecture using Studio Screen Record and shares it with the entire class. Then it's up to the students to decide how they hand in their homework. Alice opts for a Google Doc that she submits as a PDF and inside it there are links to YouTube videos, spreadsheets and even some hand-drawn diagrams. Sunil has a different approach. He records a presentation on his mobile and submits his video directly to Lee. All of that can happen in Canvas. When you empower learners to take ownership of their learning, it's proven to improve both student outcomes and larger learning goals overall. Imagine what you can achieve when you connect with the largest, most active community in education. Be a part of bringing the world together through online education. The opportunities are endless with our virtual classrooms. And find out how Canvas can help your organization thrive today.
Hi, I'm Laura Pacey, Product Director for McGraw-Hill's Higher Education Division in the UK. Student engagement and inclusive learning practices are core areas of focus for us at McGraw-Hill. So the theme of co-creation with learners is a very interesting one to explore. As we know from the Online Learning Consortium's five pillars of quality online education, student satisfaction is a central pillar, and one where students put a primary value on appropriate constructive and substantive interaction with faculty and other peers. Co-creation can be a big part of this. It's not a new concept, of course, but with advances in technology, it's become more available and more scalable. But where to start? My advice is to start small. Where are you already giving students a choice in their course? And where can these pathways be strengthened to give students even more agency in how they learn? Check in with them for feedback, to see what's working well, and perhaps less well, to see what bigger risks you'd be comfortable with in letting students co-create their learning. At McGraw-Hill, we see a lot of value in creating safe spaces for students to fail. So co-creation, especially if initially ungraded, can allow students to build creativity, confidence, and critical thinking skills with assessment based on participation rather than perfection. With these new skills and confidence and an understanding of how to apply knowledge, uh, co-creation can even guide future career decisions and increase employability. One good example I've seen is in the creation of practical videos in vocational disciplines, which can then also be peer assessed. Some of the tools that we embed in our learning platform, such as Go React, allows easy recordings and assessments. But there are, of course, Lots of different examples, and we look forward to continuing the conversation today.